So Dean, what about that then? Three points and a clean sheet, you must be a, a very happy man tonight. Yeah, I'm delighted with our patience. Um, very tough team to play against. Super well organised, especially defensively. Their front two work extremely hard. Um, and I thought their organisation was outstanding. Obviously, they're coming here and trying to frustrate us. Um, but I thought we were brilliant. Our aim today was not to give them any corners, any entries, because they're a very big side. A lot of experience, obviously, with their manager as well. So, all in all, I thought it was a fantastic performance. And uh, what we've got to do really well, and we got this is important. It's important for our supporters to understand that the way we play, we're building dominance, so they can't get frustrated when we don't shoot or we don't shoot in certain scenarios. Because what we don't want, we don't want teams counter attacking on us. All right, we're going to we're going to look to control most games. So there will be some days where we play a little bit more direct. The game plan today against a team that play very deep and very defensive. They play with a back five, midfield three and two up front. But the two up front work so hard all the time. We got to just stay patient, and I thought that's what the players did really well, and that's what I'm proud of them for doing. Yeah, and like you said, Forest Green are a top side. They've sort of shown that already this season. But I think even without the red card, you know, they sh you, sh you know, Barnett showed how well we could play and, and probably deserve the win anyway, even without the red card. Yeah, very. Do we've been dominant in the, the first three games of the season. We, I, was, like I said to you today, we should have won by six at Ebsley, in my opinion. Um, and then we should have won at Halifax. We should have got out there with a victory. Our performance deserved it. But I thought today our focus was really good. We never gave any chances away. There was a couple of sloppy moments where they got in good areas. We, could, we, didn't, uh, we didn't move the ball well enough. We didn't progress the ball well enough. Um, but they're going to have them situations and games. But to not give up a corner today, I'm sure they didn't have a corner. Um, that's impressive. That happened several times last year as well. But that's, that's important for us because we've got so many technical players. And I thought the squad was stretched today. Um, and the lads come in. Obviously, Schultz made a big impact when he came on. I saw Chappers when he came on was outstanding. He's a classy player. Um, and obviously Reese come on gave us pace as well. So all in all, Nick Tavares had a start. It was good to get him back. Um, we know he can play sitting midfield, he can play centre half, so he's a real good addition to our squad. Um, and then I know you want to know about the injured players and everyone will want to know them. Danny's got a little bit of a groin issue, Danny Collins. Cabamba's out with a knee issue. Uh, he's due to be scanned, I think, Thursday, so we won't know we'll know more about that then. Um, yeah, well, it's Jordan Crop was not far away. Um, there's one more injured. Brownie. Brownie, I think, probably been up in that four or five weeks, you know, uh, before he comes back, and he's a massive player for us as well. So there's three or four real key players there that are missing for us. Yeah, just speaking on the offensive, obviously you said about, about being patient and looking for the opportunity to, to get the goal. Obviously, when the red card happens, the expectation from the fans creeps up and the players showed some good resilience, didn't they, towards the end? Just patience, side to side, keep moving them. Eventually, it's going to open up for us. You know, the goal was a fantastic goal. I'm delighted for Brunty. You know, all I've done with Brunty is speak about him running to goal. He made a lot of sacrifices in the summer. He got himself, uh, his agent to be fair, and himself, his team around them, got himself a, a sprint coach. And he's been walking out all summer and you can see he's a little bit quicker, a little bit sharper. Um, because of his build, everyone thinks he's a little bit, you know, chunky, he's probably the word. But uh, Brunty's really worked hard on his game. And my aim for him this year is to make sure he gets 15 goals. That's what I want him to do. And he can do it. Look at that finish. Look at his ability, some of his crossing. So he's running the goal better. So that's what we've worked on with him. But just the patience of the team, keep going side to side. Eventually the, the gaps will open. And when Reese comes on with his pace and so Chapper's pace as well, they're an electric player. So. And I thought the pitch was absolutely outstanding tonight. It's the best it's ever been since I've been here. I thought I played really well and it helped us. Yeah, just speaking on this, sort of the start of the season, we've played three games and, and two wins. How, how have you found it? I, st I still think, we, well not, and obviously I can't go back in time, I think we should be on nine points. Um, and I think we should be plus six, plus seven. You know, And that's my beliefs and that's the pressures I put on myself, I put on the team, I put on the football club. Um, I'm happy with our level of performance. Um, Ideally, we'd score more, score more goals, but listen, like I say, I say to players all the time, and this is how I manage, I will take you up into the box. When it's in the box, it's down to you. So that's what we do, that's how we coach. It's Con on myself, that's how we coach, that's how we do things. Yeah, it's a busy week, obviously, playing tonight, playing on Saturday and playing on Monday as well. Obviously, South End are next up here and with a bumper crowd expected. What are your sort of thoughts going into that? Yeah, another top team, Oldham, South Ends, Forest Greens, top team, top manager, Kev, great guy. Um, you know, biggest football club probably in our division, them and Oldham and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, they're a good side, very well organised. And one thing they do, they won't sit off. They'll come and have a, a proper boxing match with us, you know. And they'll be throwing a few punches as well. So, obviously, they're going to bring big support. We need to bring air support. We need to get air guys right behind us, like they were tonight. You know, I thought they did really well later in the game. You know, they really pushed us on, especially after the red card. So, it's going to be another tough game for us. So it's not an easy game at all. Thanks for your time, Dave.